There might be a potential ban on the social media app TikTok, but the platform continues to play a role in presidential politics, as both parties use it to try to appeal to younger voters. Grady Trimble reports. Rain be light. Go, go. Oh! The nationwide TikTok ban didn't go anywhere. It could still happen. But that's not stopping both major party presidential candidates from leveraging the wildly popular social media platform to try to appeal to young voters. Biden wants to get rid of TikTok. You know why? Because he has no idea. <laughs> he has no idea what the hell he's doing. Even though former President Trump first threatened to ban the app while in the White House, now he's on it and promising to save it. The president is now on TikTok. It's my honor. Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, joined this week as well. And just after launching her presidential campaign... So I thought I'd get on here myself. Vice President Kamala Harris logged on. Despite the fact President Biden signed the law that could lead to its eventual ban. Why is he and why is the vice president... Why are they still making videos for TikTok? It is the campaign's decision. I would refer you to the campaign. We have been very clear. We are not trying to ban TikTok. We're not trying to ban TikTok. We're talking about a divestment. The law forces TikTok's parent company ByteDance to sell it or risk a ban. The deadline to divest is the day before next year's inauguration, though the government could extend it. TikTok is fighting back, suing the U.S. government arguing the possible ban violates Americans' First Amendment right to free speech. The Justice Department says the Chinese government could collect data from the app or manipulate its algorithm to influence users' views, charges the company's CEO denies. We do not promote or remove content at the request yeah, of the, the question, Chinese government. The, the court case is heading to oral arguments next month. TikTok is already banned on government phones belonging to federal employees, and this week, staffers in the House of Representatives were told they can't use any app owned by ByteDance. We reached out to both the Trump and Harris campaigns about their TikTok use and plans for it if elected, but haven't heard back. In Washington, Grady Trimble, Fox Business.